Hey guys, welcome back to another video that I am putting up. I have not put up a uh, PUBG video in a while. I made 25 tips and strategy videos for how I play the game that, you know, they're really, those videos are really designed really just to help uh, kind of new players um, or maybe players who are trying to get chicken dinners uh, and they're just not getting them consistently. So I've made 25 of those. And uh, I just kind of said, you know what, I'm going to take a step uh, away from it. But it's now been a, probably close to two months since the new map has come out. And so I've gotten a bunch of chicken dinners and uh, I've learned this map. Um, and so I kind of just thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and kind of put up a couple of these videos. I'm trying to make them a little bit different. I'm not going to go like through uh, one video will be an entire gameplay. I might try to put, you know, two of them and just kind of focus on a few things. Uh, and I'm not going to put a lot of these videos up. I'm really only going to put up maybe two, maybe three. I don't see me putting up more than that uh, just because I don't really want to kind of reinvent the wheel uh, with some of my tips uh, and all that jazz. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and kind of just look at a couple things. Now, just in regards to this game uh, by itself, uh, I'm obviously down here. So we'll set this to two times and we'll go kind of quick. Now in this game, um, I don't encounter anybody until near the end of the game. But part of that is uh, because you can see where I'm at. I'm down here in near uh, that Camp Charlie. Uh, I've landed in the circle. Uh, I'm s close to the middle of the circle, so I, I never really struggled too much to uh, get to the end. So long story short, let's go ahead and just kind of talk about um, some of the good aspects of the new map. Um, and there's things that I, I love about this map. Um, and there's a part of me that kind of wishes that they would take Erangel and Miramar and even just like make them smaller um, to what they've kind of done here. Um, just to see if that makes it a little bit different uh, with the other maps. But one, you know, it's half the size. One of the nice things about this is you can get to anywhere on the map from wherever the plane. It doesn't matter if the plane's all the way over here. If you want to get over here, you can make it. So it doesn't matter where the plane is. If there's a place that you like to go, you can always get there. Um, the other thing that, uh, I, you know, I really like about is the circles come in. Um, faster as far as the time length um, it's shorter uh, for when the circles come in but the circles themselves actually come in slower now most people already know all that but it's really noticeable um, when you when you play it when you're so used to playing with the way that it was on the other maps and then you get onto here and it just it just makes the experience better the other nice thing is the uh, the games are a lot shorter uh, instead of playing for a half hour to 35 minutes, you know, you're playing somewhere between really, you know, if you're getting to the end of the game, uh, 16 to, you know, really kind of 20 and no more really than 23, 24 minutes uh, at the most. Um, just kind of depends on how things go. But at the end of the day, there are so many things to like about this map. And honestly, I haven't really played the other maps anymore. Uh, uh, when you compare them to this one, it's just more enjoyable. Um, some of the other things that are really good um, from my play style, since I'm trying to always be sneaky and quiet, is there's a ton of cover everywhere. And it's fantastic. Compare this to Miramar and especially to Arangel, where there is no cover. Um, there's no strategy. It's just who's a better shot. Um, on Erangel, which is why I don't really care for that map. Uh, not in every location, but in a lot of locations. This map, it's different. This is this favors kind of everybody. If you're a good shot, great. If you like getting to cover, great. Uh, you like being in the shadows, great. I mean, it is wide open for how it is that you want to play. Um, some of the other things I would give a tip on is when you are crossing the river, avoid the bridge. Um, people still like to bridge camp, which is really funny to me. Um, so I, I have a really simple solution. Uh, I don't cross bridges. Uh, instead, what I do is I will look for places in the river like this where I can run across. Uh, it's not so much run as it is walk, but still, uh, you get across with no problem. And people aren't really looking for you down here. So that's a nice aspect. And, um, you know, you don't have to kind of wade too far into the water and it's pretty easy to cross. 
um, you know, without taking a ton of fire. But there's a lot of different bridges. You know, there's a lot of water in the game. So there's, there's, you know, a bunch of aspects of just, you know, that. Um, but it's really easy to overcome. So, again, I mean, you can see how many bridges there are. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and that's it. So, apparently, there's five bridges. You know, this is the main waterway right through here. I don't get into boats either. I don't really see the point, but uh, it's funny when people do. So, as you can see, at least for this game, I'm not seeing anybody. Uh, well, that guy went flying by. Uh, the other nice thing, now that I do see a vehicle, is just to kind of mention that I, I hate vehicles. I hate getting into vehicles. I can't stand it. And, and this map... Uh, you don't ever need to get into a vehicle unless you're so far out. And if you're that far out that you need a vehicle, odds are you put yourself that far out on purpose. So you're probably going to be able to fix that. So all in all, those are really kind of just my overview so far of why I like the map as much as I like the map. There's really nothing to mention about me not liking the map uh, at this point. Uh, the other nice thing is... Um, I don't, you know, I don't feel any kind of rush to get into the circle. Um, you know, I'm right from where I'm at right now. You know, I've positioned myself up on this hill. Now, little do I know that there is no one uh, anywhere near me. This is kind of proof that I don't hack in the game. Because why would I be spending all my time over here? But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm deliberately kind of looking for people who would be running across there didn't see anybody so i go ahead and i start moving up so we'll get into sort of the end of the game um we'll fast forward here uh but that's the other nice thing is you don't take a lot of damage uh i don't try to get into the circle immediately i take my time um and you can kind of get to all the circles so it's very similar uh as compared to the other ones they still have the stupid red zone which good night blue hole no one wants it get rid of it and I love reading the comments for people who try to defend the red zone. Like, it adds an element. It doesn't add anything to the game. Stop talking. It adds no value to the game. And if you try to tell me that it adds value simply because now that there's something going overhead, uh, and it's it, it, it makes it to where you can move and advance on somebody because they have to listen to that. Okay, well then do something besides the red zone. Have, like, planes fly over, uh do artillery shots but just don't let them land or if you're going to do it have them land outside the play zone like if you're advancing like it should never appear inside the play zone that's just my opinion because it's just annoying <sighs> but anyway all right i'm done ranting and raving about the blue or the the red zone golly i hate it though so anyway i am moving up still haven't seen anybody now the other thing which is I don't want to say it's good or bad, but it's just kind of a byproduct of, of the map. Um, you know, we're 15 minutes into this game. We're down to 14 people. So basically within 10 minutes of this game starting, uh, we've gone from 99 people less, you know, down to 20 people. I mean, we're 16 minutes into this now, and there's 12 people left. Um, I, you know, it's not the best. I know some people... You can still drop into heavily populated areas if you play like me and you're not necessarily looking to get into the fight. What you're looking to do is to get to the end of the game and try to win the game. Um, you know, it favors everybody. So that's the one nice thing I, I want to say. But at the same time, it's like, well, you know, I, you can kind of do the same thing on the other maps. Um, you know, if you're looking for the quick fight, it doesn't really map matter what map you're playing on. So the games are shorter, but anyway, in relation to this game, um, now what ends up happening is I end up seeing this guy over here. Now, the one thing is you can notice how bad it is when you lay down. You cannot see anything, and I've got foliage set to the lowest um, uh, rendering, um, and it's still a ton. So... It, it actually does make a world of difference. You know, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll get into a bush and lay down, but a lot of times I'll also get into a bush and just be crouched. So, 
uh, you know, it, it just kind of depends um, on sort of the situation and whatnot. Now, I end up seeing this guy over here. He, uh, yeah, he's over on my right. He advances up to uh, this rock. And uh, once I see this guy move... Yeah, see, I love how it's 40 seconds to the next circle. So it just keeps forcing you to move. Uh, that's a good thing. It helps players become better. So uh, I know I'm running a little long <laughs> with this video, but uh, we'll jump into the next video uh, or the next game, uh, and we'll go a lot quicker. Because at the end of the day, basically everything I'm saying now is in stuff that I'm going to say again. Because like I've said before... Um, you know, this is a this isn't really a strategy video. This is really just me kind of making some comments on this map. Um, like my strategy is my strategy. If you want to know my strategy, you know, you can watch all the other videos that I've put up. Um, there's really not much more. Now I see this guy right there. I don't take him. I don't take a shot. I wait until I know I can kind of move up. Now this guy looks right at me. But I'm able to get this guy down. Now, once that happens, this guy's up here. Love his name. It's Jolly Biscuit um, 380. I kind of wish I had thought of the name Jolly Biscuit. Um, I probably would have called myself Jolly Biscuit. I'm now questioning everything I've done under the name of Off Lawn and doing it in my head as Jolly Biscuit, and I'm liking it a lot more. But anyway, that it is what it is. So Jolly Biscuit is now smart enough to know that there is somebody who is down here, so he is looking for me. Unfortunately for this guy, uh, cheats. I don't think he really cheats. Uh, he's, he's moving over and he's using the QBZ, the QBU. They just released the QBU, right? He's using the QBZ. He's using the QB letter gun. Um, I forget which one this is. I, the, they just released a, a DMR that's a QB. I think it's QBU. Um, I think. I don't remember. Um, anyway, so this guy picks up an M24. Uh, and, yeah, the I will just call it the QBZ at this point. Um, this gun is sweet. I love it. Um, that is... A fantastic gun. It's the gun I kind of gravitate towards. Um, now, I hear all this commotion going on with Cheats um, taking out Jolly Biscuit. Uh, he moves up. Now, from here, what I end up doing is I go ahead and I advance up the hill. Now, there's a lot of hills in this game, um, which is a good and bad thing. It's good. Um, well, I'll just let you figure that out on your own. I don't know that you really need to hear my my theory on uh, hills. But anyway, um, wow, that's a nice shot. Do, do, do. So Cheats is taking on whoever that is over there, Ace or something. Um, but basically, being on a hill, I will tell you this much. Uh, it's nice because you've got such a, look at that view, especially with a sniper rifle. It's fantastic. The problem is being at the top of the hill, the hills go for a long distance, so you're easily sniped from the bottom of the hill or even from the top of the hill. Um, did he get that guy down? No, he didn't get that guy down. Okay, so what is currently going on? We're down down to five of us. He is still trying to get this guy down. Now, I end up... I can't remember... Yeah, Ace is doing a good job in moving from tree to tree. Unfortunately for him, I think he gets taken out right here. He does. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm actually advancing on Cheats. Cheats has no clue that I am where I am at. I am... I've got Cheats uh, kind of in my sights here. And I get him down... I think I get him down right here. I think. Because he's not looking for me at all. Uh, and I kind of know this. And I'm thinking, you know what? I might wait to take him out because I, I see him. And let's figure out where the last two guys are. Uh, so I go ahead. I keep advancing. I'm crawling up. But I know where he's at. And so I go ahead and I get this guy down. Uh, I move up. And all of a sudden, there's three of us left. And I can't remember... 
which one of them lives? I think it's Vestica. Yep, sure is. So, Vestica, he gets down, takes a little bit of damage. I'm over on the other side. Now, I heard those shots, but I wasn't 100% sure where those shots were. Like, I knew it was over in this area. Now, I thought it was possible that these guys, uh, whoever the last guy is, that he's actually down over here. Because um, I didn't see anyone up over on this side at first. So, um, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. So, when I had looked over here originally, I didn't see anybody. And so, I had chucked some grenades over there thinking that's where the guy was. Uh, Vestica actually follows what I'm doing and throws grenades over where I'm chucking grenades. I don't know why he did that, but he did. So, he thinks I'm over there as well. So, once the grenades go off in that area, or right over here, that's when I kind of know, like, okay, wait a minute. This guy's got to be over where I looked earlier. And sure as the world, I'm looking in that direction. But then I swing around. I see him right there. But right then, he sees me. So he gets some shots. I try to get some shots with the SKS. Boom, 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 boom trying to stick and move and I know that if I can get one more hit on this guy I'm going to get him down I don't want to heal up at this point I just want to swing around I see where this guy goes I he doubles back okay now I know where he's at and I get the headshot right there I get the guy down and that is sort of the end well not sort of that is the end that's the end of that game boom 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 uh, I'm just able to get that headshot. So that is the end of that game. Let's go ahead and just kind of jump into another game and try to give a little bit more. Because um, uh, in the next game, I think we end up near the quarry. So I have some thoughts about the quarry. All right, guys. So we are just going to jump into this game. Uh, we're already well into it. Um, we're down to 24 people. I haven't seen anybody, just to give you a heads up. So I kind of came down over in this area, uh, hit here, moved over to here, moved down. And this is where I currently am. So we're getting near the end of the game. So we're 13 minutes into this. Uh, there's only 10 minutes left. Uh, and we'll probably fast forward a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and start it back up. Uh, set it to two times now uh, what I had actually done this game was I was trailing this guy over on my left uh, you can see his name there it says the heck and so I was trailing the heck for quite a while and he ended up veering off to my left when I thought he was actually veering off to the right so I kind of misjudged that so once again I kind of want to point out the bushes. Uh, bushes are, in this game, um, on this map, fantastic places to kind of put yourself. Uh, you're difficult to see, um, even with a striped shirt. That's the most hideous shirt. I, I, uh, oh, man. Anyway, uh, so we are getting up near the quarry. Now, um, I haven't seen anybody yet to basically take shots at, except the, the heck earlier. Uh, but I wasn't really in a position to take shots at him. So the heck just got taken out by Brenton Baz. So we will see Brenton here in a little bit. So um, here is where the next circle is. So I go ahead and kind of decide, like, I got a couple options. Now, I'm up over on this ridge uh, right here. Now, this is not a really good place to be because um, I got to deal with all this uh, sort of rock face right here. So I got a couple options. I can either go down this way or I can go this way. Now, I made a really poor decision on where I basically end up. Um, now, what I had wanted to do was I thought the next circle was going to be over in this area. So I end up coming down and kind of putting myself on this side of the quarry. Now, what would have been better would have been for me to uh, actually come over this way and put myself down here because if you're dealing with the quarry, if I end up putting myself over on this side, the problem is you're going to have to run through it. I'm not a fan of running through the quarry. I don't think you have any kind of advantage. I think it's a huge disadvantage. And so I end up putting myself in a bad spot it would have been so much better for me to go this way but uh i end up 
deciding to instead move down over here. Um, clock is ticking down. I end up jumping down. I don't. I take a little bit of damage, uh, but not much. And so I, I should have moved a little bit quicker and sooner, but uh, I wasn't too worried about it, actually. So I run over here, because I've dealt with this rock face before, so I know I can get down it rather than going around the side. So take a little bit of damage right there. Um, yada, yada, yada. So I run down through here. I'm running through here. I'm keeping an eye open. And I just kind of was convinced that if the next circle is going to be down in this area, I'd have this path to come down because there is some cover on this path. And I thought if I'm coming in late, uh, what I would actually be able to do is kind of navigate over this way and then double back and come up the pathway. Um, and then you'll kind of see what ends up happening here. So I'm going to go ahead and s set it back down. Now there's a fight that just took place. Um, Sleepy C basically just took out uh, whoever that was. So I come all the way up here. Uh, I kind of misjudged being able to get to that pathway. I should have put myself over in that direction. I didn't. Uh, made some bad decisions where I'm at. Go ahead and move up. And all of a sudden, we see where the next next circle is. So now I realize I've made a terrible decision. I should have put myself at least over here, uh, but probably even over here because this would have worked out a lot better. Um, however, here is what I do know. Now I know that there is a guy who is right in front of me. I know that Sleepy C is right in front of me and that this guy does not know that I'm here and he also does not have a choice. He has to come within my view. Um, there's no way around it. The only option he would have would be to run in this direction and that just doesn't make any sense for him to do that. So, you know, if you kind of look at the map, um, what makes sense for him is if this guy's right here, he's going to run across here He's not running down this way and then cutting up. He is basically either cutting through here or he's going to come in my direction. So I just decide, all right, I'll just wait. I mean, I'll just wait and take this guy out. That's why he doesn't shoot me in the back. And I go ahead, I get that guy down, and I go ahead and go back to where it is that I was trying to go uh, the, <laughs> the first time, uh, which is what I should have done that I did not do. So I go ahead, I get up here, I get to uh, the circle, and I, the, the one nice thing, the only nice thing about the quarry is this path. There is a bunch of areas for you to get to cover. It's not really hidden, but it's cover. I hope that makes sense. I'm not going to take the time to explain it, but uh, I find myself, anytime I'm having to go across the quarry, always trying to get on this road. Um, just because if I get seen, there are a lot of places I can at least get to cover for. So we're down to eight of us. I'm going to go ahead and kind of pause it here, slow it back down, and kind of zoom in. So as it currently stands, okay, so the play zone just took out uh, one other person. Uh, the new circle has hit. So all these guys are over on this side. So I'm in a really good spot. And what I know at this point is that there's nobody right in front of me. So I know my goal is to actually get into the circle right here next to this wall. That was my intention. So I go ahead and just kind of chill out again, hiding in a bush. But it's because the bushes provide so much cover. And I knew that there was no one right in front of me. Because um, I would have already seen him at this point, And I didn't see anybody. So the guy that we will take a gander at is this guy over here, Brenton Baz. He took out the heck earlier. Now Brenton's doing a really good job in kind of where he's positioned, looking up to the hill. He knows he sees uh, some folks up there. Uh, he's looking. He knows he saw somebody earlier. Gives up. Goes ahead and kind of moves up because now the circle is starting to move in. And now we're back over to me. And I'm moving up. And I go ahead and once I get into uh, the circle here, I, um, you know, now I'm looking because, you know, I'm, I don't want to lay down at this point. We get down to five people. I don't want to lay down right there. But if you get into a bush, you know, I want to lay down. 
but I'm trying to look over uh, into this area on my on the right uh, uh, on the right side of the screen up on the hill, but I'm looking ahead of me as well because what I'm convinced of at this point is if you kind of look if you know the quarry area here's what actually makes a ton of sense is this is where there's buildings people just always gravitate to buildings which means at the end of a circle um, or when the circles coming in this is where people are going to be coming from so anyone who's going to be up on top of this hill I'm already going to be able to see them perfectly from my vantage point um, I'm already kind of scoping it out even though it's sort of peripheral um, peripheral peripheral whatever so why I'm looking in the direction I'm looking is for anybody who's coming out of these buildings uh, because that's what's going to make the most sense to me is if I'm going to see somebody down on the road I'm going to see them basically right through there so sure enough that is exactly what is happening that is where Brenton is coming from um, I have to move up I was a little disappointed I wasn't going to be able to use that bush so all of a sudden I see this guy and boom boom get two headshots I'm able to get that guy down we're down to four people at this point and I am the only one that is down here now when I took those shots there's a guy up here white noise now white noise knows that I'm down there he knows that I'm somewhere down there um, so he also knows that he has got to basically get that's another nice feature is them putting in the uh, make the map bigger so I'll do that um, so this guy's trying to get down to the next circle uh, and at the same time he knows that he just heard shots from down there so we're gonna look at it from his point of view uh, he ends up hearing this guy, he sees the guy on his right. He's able to get that guy down. Now we're down to three people. He's still looking for me at this point. He knows I'm somewhere down there. Somewhere. And I'm going to set this down real quick. Now he took a ton of damage. But unfortunately for Roy, the hamster he's taking too much damage from the blue zone and white noise he can't get to cover and white noise is able to get him down now I hear all that I know that we're down I hear where those final shots are so I start scoping out because I know where this guy is he has to be over here I see movement the guy's healing up and boom 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 it's over done second chicken dinner so um, right there I mean the thing to kind of you know discuss and you know kind of look at is really just the quarry i i just avoid the quarry i avoid trying to go through it uh over there um even through here i try to circumnavigate it i try everything i can and if i have to i always try to come down this pathway this is what is sort of your best option um try to avoid the quarry at all costs if you can um but you know even right here down at the base, I mean, there's just a lot of cover, you know, with this wall, the wall over here. Uh, so this is about the only good area uh, to me uh, with the quarry is this pathway in the general area. Um, and, you know, I'm just, I got lucky seeing this guy, you know, all three of them were up here. Uh, coming down off of this hill so anyway guys that's gonna be the first video kind of for my uh, Sandhawk uh, map and I'll probably just put up uh, one or two more at this point there's really not much more and I'm not gonna give too many uh, too many more tips and strategies for this it is what it is so um, I've got a couple um, uh, videos that I can make and so you know I'll probably do that but you know at the end of the day um, this map is fantastic if you don't play a lot of it and you're kind of stuck on the other maps I recommend that you get off of those get onto this one it is a ton of fun so alrighty guys thanks so much for watching and we will catch you next time see you